All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikah, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. Today's lesson is called Visiting of the Lord. You know, or some to the extent, but uh, as you can see, you know, by the title that uh, this is coming from ABC's uh, Line Pride News, is this, this is, I guess, a day ago, you know. And I got a couple of videos I'm going to put in here, but this one right here is, you know, going into the storm. So that's why I pretty much kind of named it the visiting of the Lord, I believe. I'm going to name it that, Lord willing. And uh, we're going to get into a, a few precepts and uh, Lord willing is edifying to the flock. The 2021 Atlantic hurricane season begins next month, and today the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, known as NOAA, released its forecast of what's in store. We take a look by the numbers. There is a 60% chance of an above normal 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, according to NOAA, but experts say it's unlikely to surpass 2020's historic activity, which is a good thing. NOAA predicts 13 to 20 named storms this year, including six to 10 storms that could become hurricanes with winds gusting at least 75 Four miles per hour. Last year was the most active hurricane season on record and the fifth straight year of above normal activity. 2020, which of course also brought us the COVID pandemic, delivered a record breaking 30 named storms in the Atlantic, including nine storms named with the Greek letters after the storm names went through the entire alphabet. Six of those storms became hurricanes, which is double the norm. This year, NOAA scientists say that they've seen higher than normal sea surface temperatures, weaker tropical trade winds and an enhanced West African monsoon, which all point to another active storm season. Now, you can see they call it the storm system, you know, NOAA, you know, you know, pretty much marking, you know, uh, one of the most highest prophets, man, you know, and they call it, it's just a scientific, uh, I guess, uh, computer system, you know. It's like, you know, they didn't get so far, you know, so full of themselves, you know, they believe in, you know, science is is more accurate, you know, that's but that's the most high allowing, allowing you know, the pride uh, 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 of the wicked man, you know, to surpass it, uh, himself, you know. So let's get the first precept. Uh, this is uh, the book of... Uh, Let's go to the uh, book of Genesis. You know, uh, this is uh, uh, to uh, to get the understanding that the Most High won't destroy the earth again by you know by water. Uh, let's see. Uh, Genesis chapter nine and verse twelve it says, "And the Most High said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you.'" And every living creature that is with you for a perpetual generation. Am I saying that right? Uh, yeah. Verse 13 that says, I do set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen. In the cloud, and I will remember my covenant, which is be which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. So, you know, that's the covenant with the Most High. So it won't, the earth won't be dis destroyed again by water, right? So, you know, let's get this uh, other this first precept. That I wanted, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, let's get, I think it was Isaiah, yeah, chapter 29 and verse 6. It says, uh, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah of Shah of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the fire of the uh, and the flame of devouring fire. So, 
the most high is visiting the earth, man, with these storm and templates. Now, now that, that brings us to this the second uh video, which this is what it, it really came down. This is what it is right here. This is the main video, but this video here was, you know, kind of follow uh, or kind of uh, uh, solidify this video here. We made USAA insurance for busy veterans like Kate. So when her car got hit, she didn't waste any time. She filed the claim on her USAA app and said, that was easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Tonight, parts of the Gulf Coast bracing for more flash flooding and the threat of tornadoes. This after a powerful overnight storm took many by surprise, killing up to four people and leading to hundreds of rescues, including this baby rescued in the rain. It was like so fast. I couldn't believe it. You know, it just started raining and the next thing you know, it was pouring. In Baton Rouge, rescuers worked around the clock. Residents trapped in homes and apartment buildings reachable only by boat. This is the worst you've ever seen? This is the worst I've ever seen here. It's crazy. A driver drowning under this overpass. Lake Charles, Louisiana also slammed with rain, a 100-year rain event for a city still recovering from back-to-back -back hurricanes last year. And Lester, it is far from over for folks like this. Nearly 30 million Americans at risk of flooding this week and more relentless rain expected. Hey, there, we, uh, there you have it, man. Okay. So let's get the couple free precepts that we have. Uh, let's go to the first precept. This is a uh, book of Amos, uh, chapter 5 and verse 4. It said, For thus said the Lord Yahweh by Shimei al Shai unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. So this is a cry, man, you know, that the Most High is allowing, you know, his people to hear, man. But, you know, the Most High know that he's definitely dealing with a stiff neck and rebellious people, as he says, you know, you know, in the book of Baruch. And throughout the scriptures, man, uh, you know, in the, it's also in the book of Isaiah, I believe is uh, the first chapter or maybe the second chapter, you know, one of those two. But, you know, that's Israel, man. I've always been a stiff neck and rebellious people, you know, and the most high is definitely whipping the crap out of, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, Louisiana, man, you know. If you ever been to Louisiana, man, it's just a different type of wicked, you know, <laughs> down there, man, you know, especially in, uh, you know, New Orleans, man, you know, with the homosexuality, man, it's, 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 it's too rampant, man. And they're allowing a lot of that stuff, you know, to, to flourish there, man, you know. It usually be like, you know, growing up in my era, you know, you only see maybe one faggot that was, you know, a uh, 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 homosexual that was, you know, inflaming, uh, you know, out the closet basically with it. But there, you know, they this they they allow that to, uh, you know, bleed into the, you know, the uh, the rap community, you know, and these these guys are supposed to be super gangsters, man, you know, but I guess these are gangsters. You know, with uh, fingernail polish and dresses on now, and, but 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 born a man, okay. That's that's what we're dealing with now, okay. So uh, that's like uh, Louisiana is the uh, or, or New Orleans is the uh, uh, modern day Sodom, uh, uh, which is all of of America, but you know, it, it's just like the hub of of uh, of. of you know, modern day uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. You see. So let's get this next precept, man. Uh, I'm trying not to make it too much longer. We're gonna maybe get one or two more. Uh, 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 let me see. I ain't really want to bring this out too many, but this is the book of Sirach. Chapter 18, because I was trying to make it short. I, I think I record. I thought I recorded it, but it didn't 
work. So I had to come back again with it. This is Book of Sirach, chapter 18 and verse uh, 24. It says, Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end and the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. You know, and who is that he? That's uh, our, our father, man. See, the Most High is going to turn his face against, you know, Israel, man. Because the Most High is constantly giving us, you know, chance after chance. And what we're doing, well, his people, not per se me, you know, uh, turning his, turning uh, uh, their backs to uh, our Lord and Savior, man. That's, that's the only way we're going to get saved. Okay, this is a Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse uh, 7. It says, at last, for that day is great. So that is none like it, except even that it is, it said it is, is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And, and, you know, the point is that, you know, that, that time is great. Okay. Which is, I mean, this is just the, uh, the pre before, you know, the, the, the real deal comes. Okay. Because and the reason I read uh, Jeremiah chapter seven because that's Jacob's trouble is 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 on the way, man. You see, the Most High is visiting the earth, you know, through his prophets and, and through the storms and templates, you know, and and wars and rumors of wars and the actual wars that's you know that's kicking off over in Israel and uh, against the Israelis and the Palestinians, okay. And then the Most High is allowing his, you know, his 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 angels or his chariots to be seen. Okay. So the Most High is is, is like, hey man, I'm coming. <laughs> you know, basically like, you know, kind of like waving his hand, like, hey man, I'm finna get ready to destroy this place, man. You know, it's time to repent and come back to uh, you know, the the the, the ways of old, man. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 34, and verse 17. It says, uh, the, it says, The righteous cry, and the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Abishai hear it, and deliver them out of all their troubles. Hey, and that's what we want, man. Hey, that's what we're hoping for, man. Okay? Verse 18, and the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yavshai is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Okay? And that's beautiful, man. Hey, that's the will of Yahweh by Shem Yavshai. So let's get maybe one or two more precepts and uh, uh, we can end it. Let's get the book of uh, Acts. Uh, chapter 4 verse 12 and says neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under the heaven among men whereby we must be saved see that's beautiful man there's no you know uh, uh, other name but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh where we must be saved man okay so, hey, this is going out to you, you know, you Israelites, man. Okay? You know, the ones that the Most High have, uh, you know, known from the, you know, before the beginning of the earth. You know? This is the time, man. Okay, let's get this last precept. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse uh, uh, 30. Okay? It says, For we know him that had said, Vengeance belonging unto me, I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. And this is judgment, man, from the Lord right here. Down in uh, uh, Lake Charles and uh, what was the other city? Uh, Lake, uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. And the, the second city was, uh, uh, what it says, it's a screech, it says Baton Rouge. Yeah, Louisiana. That's the second city, man. And and I believe it was another one. Uh that this thing is 
is man, damn, that's a storm hit parts of Houston. This is like four days ago. Now, you know, you probably could say that's the heart, but all, over and all, it, all in all, is your how about Shimi Abishai, man? No doubt. Okay. No doubt. So hey, it's 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 going down here in Babylon, man. Okay. By ways of who? Yeah, how about Shimi Abishai? So. We're going to go ahead and end it there. We're going to give our praise and honor to our Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rekah Kadosh. So, like, let's say that again. Our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekah Kadosh. And double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And shalom to the whole for elect.